Now the topic we want to revisit is the crucial issue of the birth certificate as it is issued at the hospital at the time of birth. Yes, that would be the certificate of born, life born certificate, not the birth certificate, which is the one created by the hospital, which is just the hospital records, you know, how, what time was the baby born, how much did the baby weigh, what condition the baby was in, did the baby need to be uh, kept in intensive care for a day or two, was it underweight, all the records about the baby. Is, now, are they... All, all that has been monetized. They've been monetized, but it, that is a document that, as a general rule, doesn't get released to the, the parents. It, they, they often give the parents a copy of it if the parents ask for it, depending on how nice the hospital is, you know, how busy they are or whatever. But usually not, you know, all of that goes into a thing what they call your medical file. Yes. You know, like your doctor, my dentist, everybody's got my file somewhere, all, all the x-rays, you know, things about me. I don't personally have it. I know it's out there and, and I've looked at it and I've, we've discussed it, but I don't own those records. So they sell those records from the, from the life-born aspect of the baby that gets sold and that usually gets bought by either the Vatican or by government entities and that becomes a bond. And it is separate to the document commonly known as the birth certificate? Completely separate. The birth certificate is the one where the birth gets registered and the name of the baby gets recorded and made known to the rest of the world. It becomes a record. The, the hospital record is the internal one just with the medical details of the baby, which is when the baby was born and not birthed. And that's the interesting thing. So there's two different trusts here that gets created. The one is the one in the hospital that gets converted into a trust. And then the birth registration one gets converted into a different trust. That one is usually a government one. But the initial one is most of the time the Vatican one. Now what makes this interesting, I'll just show this for our viewers. This is the, uh, the birth certificate. There's not many of them around. This is a copy of your own birth certificate? Of my own birth certificate. This one is a British birth certificate because where I was born in uh, Northern Rhodesia, which is now Zambia, that was at that point in time was a British colony. Yes. So this is a birth certificate which was done by the registration of the birth. Now I've got a very interesting document which I will disclose at some point in time all of the contents. At this point we'll just cover some aspect of it. And why I'm saying that the hospital sell that hospital record and people don't know about it because this information got given to me in a very unusual way and it became made known to me and this is the first time that I can actually share this with, with the rest of the outside world. But you have known about this information for some time yourself? I knew about it but I couldn't, I couldn't put my finger on it. But from the response that I got from questions that I asked into the system, this answer came back to me and I'll, I'll just read from the document and how the, how the bonds work and how the trust accounts work because we all know there's a secret trust somewhere, somehow, you know, where does money come from, how does money work and then the entities that sent me this information uh, I can't disclose who they are for, for privacy reasons but I can tell people about the contents of it so I can't tell you who wrote the document but I can tell you what's in it so I'm happy to do that Yes. and it goes like this the way commerce was set up many years ago is that there is no legal tender in the hands of people any longer. Due to there not being any legal tender in circulation, there had to be a system put into circulation that would allow debt to be paid, which is we now have the debt system of credit in place. So there's only debits and credits. Yes. When your birth certificate was publicly recorded three days after your birth, the corporate entity was established, as I'm sure you already know. Is there any significance to the three days, the 72 yes. hours? The three days is the days that Christ took to wake up from the grave. That's the 72 hour period in commerce. The three days is pretty, pretty, pretty important. Everything works on a 72 hour basis in commerce. And there's always a three days for this and three days for that. You know, within three days, you'll see it on your court records, your documents, whatever. So the three is the pretty interesting number. And in numerology, I won't go on the whole lot, but in Masonic numbers, obviously, one means man, two means action, and three means God. 
so that is the three day number so after three days something becomes known and the, actually what they do is to see whether the child will still be, uh, still be alive after three days so in which case if the child didn't live for three days he's probably not going to make it or there could be complications so they wait for three days and usually when people die there's very often the request that they do not be buried or cremated within three days so that the spirit can leave the body now that's that's in certain cultures and customs and religions it's it's, it's not a universal principle but you, you'll often come across that that people don't want to be buried straight away the same day that they die in, in certain cultures they do but very often uh, your funeral parlors everybody would wait for three days and there's a reason for that and here comes the three-day principle but interesting that they mentioned to me as I'm sure that you already know so this entity is not yours and never has been yours the entity that they created the form with the details of the born baby on it is not yours the hospital created that and I couldn't because it was a baby I didn't even know what the hell was going on around me so between my parents and the hospital there was a form of an agreement something that they consented to information that they volunteered which would include their names their surnames their details and that got monetized and created into a bond and that got sold into the government and into the Vatican system you were only made the collateral for it your birth mother gave permission to the government to handle all of your commercial affairs and pay all your debts and in return you received benefits these benefits include but are not limited to education medical treatment driver's licenses etc and in return they get to profit from handling your commercial affairs just because they put your name on the accounts doesn't mean it's yours they own the corporate entity the corporate trust attached to your birth certificate that was created three days after you were born and funnily enough not many people register their babies three days after they were born it's usually a week or two weeks or maybe a month later whenever they get around to do it which makes all of this pretty interesting so yeah that there, there, there we have it there's a trust account being created the, the birth bond has been monetized by the hospital and sold in and that is where money comes from so that baby has then been taken into possession placed into maritime converted into an asset that has been traded on the stock exchange globally and that is where the money comes from and that baby or child will grow up and for the rest of his life be monetized and enslaved by an agreement made between the hospital and the parents in without, maritime without the baby having any say of course and without the parents knowing what's happening because it's done by deception yes they didn't know when they go to a hospital that the hospital is a ship it's a dock and a dry vessel belonging to an international private organization as a foundling hospital for abandoned goods that's why they call it a maternity hospital matter is matter pattern is pattern so the father gives the pattern to the child and the mother creates the matter only females can create matter I, can't. I can sense it's very heartfelt topic for you yeah, yeah it is yeah now so, to get back to that document just quickly the one yeah. you read from yes you can't divulge at this stage where that information came from somebody has written to yes. you yes I asked a lot of questions uh, we'll cover this at a separate stage uh, if I do it now it'll take us uh, another hour or two maybe to go through the whole document it's a very interesting document but you but, I'm, I'm assuming you sent out questions yes, yeah. to a series yes. of people yeah. for example within government Yes. generally you didn't receive much response but somebody did write back well I didn't expect a response yeah, at right. all because usually what they do is they just put the stuff in the paper shredder you know they can't reply to you because you, you you're asking questions from a dead entity you know you, you you're asking a corporation to disclose information to you know they, they've got no obligation to do so they, they, it's a private company what's it got to do with me what they do with my records you know it's not my records I don't own them so I just kept on asking questions 
And I sent all these questions out into the world globally. If I said globally, I'm talking about the whole planet, not necessarily Australia, New Zealand, South Africa. And uh, I didn't expect to get a response from anybody. And but you did receive out one of the response. Blue, I got one of these entities coming back to me. And uh, they didn't solve my problems for me. They didn't answer my questions. But they told me what to do and how everything works, which I did not expect. Now, interestingly enough, the birth bond or born bond, what it looks like. This is the, the British one from uh, uh, Mother England, uh, not UK, because UK is a corporation, but this is a British birth certificate with the, uh, with the crown, the, the, the queen under, under the crown. And then if you would look at the name written, it would be Quibus, and then my parents' surname, my father's family name or the place that my father came from. And if you look at the spacing between the two words, you'll see that there's a huge gap in between. That's not normal typing. And that's already been written into all capital letters. And this is not the birth registration certificate. This is the born certificate from the hospital. This is where the certificate comes from. And this makes it very interesting. And then if you look at the way that it's been written in all capital letters, all uppercase, where did that come from? That's the bond.